Welcome to Food Safety for Food Service Employees, presented by Environmental Health Division of the First District Health Unit. There are eight parts to this presentation. You must watch all eight. This is part one. Take handwritten notes for each part. Contact any FDHU office to schedule an appointment to take the test. To take the test, you will need to bring handwritten notes in your own handwriting, a valid photo ID, and payment in the form of cash or card. Part 1. Foodborne Illness The FDHU food code was based on FDA's model food code. It was new as of January 1, 2019. Mandatory Food Education all food employees and volunteers must take and pass the mandatory food education program. Person in charge. Each establishment must have a person in charge at all hours while food establishment is open. The person in charge must demonstrate knowledge of food safety, FDHU's food code provisions, and major food allergens. The person in charge charge must also ensure that all other employees are following the food code requirements. The person in charge may need to meet the certified food protection manager requirement. The person in charge needs to be knowledgeable about the major food allergens, including if menu items contain peanuts, tree nuts, fish, shellfish, milk, eggs, soy, or wheat. In a food establishment, the food employees have more to do with whether people eating food from a food establishment will get a foodborne illness or not than any other factor. Foodborne illness statistics. According to the CDC Center for Disease Control, 48 million cases of foodborne illness per year are recorded in the U.S or about one out of six Americans. More than 128,000 people are hospitalized for foodborne illness per year, and there are approximately 3,000 deaths because of foodborne illness per year. According to the CDC, about 70% of all foodborne illness outbreaks occur in food service operations. What is a foodborne illness? A foodborne illness is any illness associated with or in which any causative agent is obtained by ingesting food. A foodborne illness outbreak involves two or more people who eat a common food. Generally, these are not recognized or reported accurately. There are five major risk factors contributing to outbreaks. The first one is poor personal hygiene. Number two is improper holding temperatures. Number three is inadequate cooking. Number four is contaminated equipment. Number five is food from unsafe sources. According to the FDA, poor personal hygiene contributes to approximately 50% of all foodborne illness outbreaks. What can cause foodborne illness contamination? The first is physical agents. Some examples of physical agents are metal shavings in cans, glass fragments, bone in ground meat, artificial fingernails, or hair. These contaminants you can usually see, feel, or taste. Here's an example. Glass shards were found in brownies in a local food establishment. The second type of contaminant is chemical agents. Some examples are metals, like mercury in fish, zinc in galvanized containers, lemonade in a copper container, lead from pottery crystal, personal medications, poisons such as cleaners or sanitizers, it's usually in solution and cannot be seen. The third type of contaminant 
are biological agents or pathogens. These are agents that cause disease, especially a living organism. The two examples are bacteria and viruses. They are microscopic and you will not be able to see, smell, or taste them. Bacteria are found everywhere in our environment. Most are harmless, but some are beneficial and used to make food, like in cheese. Some are spoilage organisms, others can cause illness. They are very small and only visible with a microscope. There are about 1.1 billion bacterial cells in one ounce of soil and about 5 billion bacterial cells in one teaspoon of fresh water. The factors necessary for bacterial to grow are food, temperature, and time. The second type of biological agent or pathogen are viruses. These are even smaller than a bacterial cell. They are one one hundredth the size. Food serves as a middle step from the source of the contamination by the virus to the consumer. Viruses do not grow in food. Viruses most commonly are attributed to foodborne disease outbreaks are hepatitis A and norovirus. This is the end of part one. For each presentation, a different part of a code will be given. Write down this test code and bring the complete code with you to take your test. The first digit in the code is 3.